Juan Serf, I'm a professor of neuroscience and business. And today I thought we're going to explain what is deja vu. It's not uh, ancient aliens going through your brain, and it's also not a glitch in the matrix. And to understand it best, we have to actually go to the reverse experience and understand a disorder of the brain that gives rise to the opposite thing that will make sense for everyone. The disorder I want to talk about is called the Capgras disorder, named after the French neuroscientist who discovered it many years ago. Capgras disorder works the following way. Imagine you're going for a run, and at some point you fall and land on your head. You have some kind of concussion or brain injury, and immediately you rush to the hospital, where they check your brain, see that everything is okay, and send you back home. This is how Capgras starts. Only that in the case of Capgras, many people who experience that go back home, they're told by the doctors that everything's okay and that they're healthy, and when they come back home, they meet their husband or wife or their dog, and somehow something feels strange. Imagine that there's a patient who comes back home and meets his wife. The wife approaches him and says, Oh my God, Tony, it's so nice to see you. I was worried about you. They called from the hospital, said that you're injured. I'm glad everything's okay. And the guy said, Lady, I don't know who you are. You look like my wife. You sound like my wife. You smell like my wife, but you're not my wife. You're an imposter in the body of my wife. Something doesn't make sense here. The woman says, no, I'm, I'm your wife. What are you talking about? She shows him pictures of the two of them. She says, here are the kids and they all say that I'm your wife. What's happening to you? And despite all the evidence, the guy keeps saying, I don't know what's going on, but you're not my wife. That's a classical manifestation of the Capgras disorder, where a person thinks that something or someone that they're very familiar with is not who they are, despite all the senses telling them the opposite. So what actually happens here? In our brain, we have three systems that work together for you to experience something as a true percept. And here's what happens. One system, the sensory system, gets information from the eyes, from the nose, from the ears, from the tongue, from the skin, and that system tells the guy, it's your wife. But then there's another system that's supposed to work, and that's the system that makes you feel familiar with the person. And because Capgras disorder has happened in a case where this person actually had an injury that severed the connection between the system that makes you feel familiar with this person, there's no communication coming from the familiarity system to the third system that needs to combine both to say that's your wife. Only if the third system gets inputs that say it looks like your wife and it's familiar like her, like you know her, you recognize her, will the brain say, aha, that's the wife. And in capital disorder, an injury that happens exactly between the two systems, the familiarity and the concluding one, makes the person get only half the input and not recognize that the woman is his wife. That is why he says it doesn't feel like her. It feels like an imposter. Fortunately for most people, Kafka disorder fixes itself after a few hours or days. Now that we understand how Kafka's work, it makes sense to see what happens in deja vu. Deja vu is exactly the opposite. The sensory system doesn't work, but the familiarity overworks randomly. So the third system at the top gets inputs only from the familiarity, telling it something that you experience right now is familiar, which the brain interprets as I've been here before. I walk through the day and suddenly for a few seconds I get inputs that say familiar, familiar, familiar and everything I look feels like I must have seen it before. You have not. You just have for a moment an interruption in the system that makes a third component of the brain think that everything is familiar. And you can know that it's weird because if you try to predict what's going to happen next during a deja vu experience, you won't be able to. It's not really that you know what's going to happen. It's just that every moment as it happens, you say, oh yeah, that's exactly how it should be because I'm familiar with it. You don't have any sensory experience. This is why it's not a true experience. You don't say, I've actually been there before. You just say, it feels like a deja vu. I feel like a faint memory of something that happened before. But at the same time, it happens enough for a few seconds that every moment at the time feels like it's familiar to you. Fortunately for us, those kind of hyperactivity that make some part of the brain speak without provocation end quickly. So deja vu takes usually a fraction of a minute, some seconds before it decays. And then you suddenly feel, I don't know what happened, but I didn't go there before. So if we had to summarize and say, what is deja vu? It's a system in your brain that functions without reason and tells another system, everything we go through right now is familiar. Familiarity system telling the brain we've been here before. Because this system operates only for a few seconds, this experience will decay, and after a few seconds of feeling deja vu, you will get out of it, not knowing what happened, and your brain will 
go back to its stable state where everything is new and unfamiliar is what we call real life.